You have the knowledge. You know the odds. All the rest is in the cards. On Gambit, a game of skill, fate, and fortune. And now, from Television City in Hollywood, your host, Wheat Martindale. Thank you very much, Joe Williams. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Gambit. Here we are, ready to do our number again. Ready to do our thing called Gambit, playing with a regular deck of 52 cards. Thank you. First of all, let's begin, as we always do, by saying good morning to our dealer of the cards, Elaine Stewart. Good morning, Hi, Elaine. Hi, how are you today? Now let's meet our players for today. Kenny, who do we have? First, let's meet the challengers. Here they are. They are Karen and Bill Livingston. And these are the champions who already won cash and prizes worth over $1,500. Mike and Angela Ferraro. Hello, Ferraros. Hello. we got to give them some applause, too. Come on. <laughs> Mike and Angela are from Los Angeles. Mike is an insurance broker, while Angela is a housewife. They have a little boy, and they are our current champions. They have won $1,535 in cash and prizes. Good morning, and welcome back, and good luck today. The Livingstons, Phil and Karen, are from Downey. Phil is a policeman with the city of Los Angeles, and Karen is a housewife. They are the new challengers, and they're going to try to knock off the Ferraros and become new champions. Good luck today, Livingston. Thank you. Let's see. When we left off on our last show, we were in the first game of a new match. The Ferraros have a what they hope is a lucky 13 uh, there, and the Livingstons have an 8. The remaining cards in the deck we were using have been reshuffled and resealed. Now let's break the seal, Elaine, and we'll ask the Livingstons, Mr. Livingston, cut the cards for us, please. And incidentally, 21 in any combination hits our Gambit jackpot, which starts at $500 and goes up $500 a day, and today it's worth $1,500 for a 21. Here's the first question today. Actress Susan Strasberg plays the wife of one of TV's detectives. Ferraro. Toma. Right, Toma. She plays the wife of Toma. What are you going to do? Take this card or give it away? We'll take it, Wayne. Take the card. 21! <laughs> so, congratulations, Mike and Angela. How's that for a start, huh? Oh, I won't, I won't ask the Livingstons that because they might throw something at me, but congratulations. That's a beautiful way to begin. Let's see, you got $1,500 for the 21, $100 for the game, so that 21's worth $1,600. And your grand total now, including cash, $1,400, is $3,135. We'll be back to game two of this match right after this. Here's game two of this match. By the way, we reset the jackpot now for a $21 to $500. Elaine, may we see the first card in the second game, please, for a jack of hearts. You're in the armed forces, and your captain says you'll meet at 1,800 hours. Livingston. 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. That's correct, 6 p.m. That's $1,800. You want that slide? Yeah, we'll take it. You got it. <laughs> Both good with this me. is a true or false question, so answer true or false. The words RSVP at the bottom of an invitation mean bring your own bottle of whiskey. Livingston. False. Right, it means please reply. <laughs> RSVP. We'll, we'll take the next case. Take it. Yes. Here it comes. Jack of hearts plus a 10 of hearts. <laughs> You want to stop or keep going? I think we'll three. For all those, you got to have 21 to uh, take the match. This famous country music star had a number of hit records during his short career with such songs as Your Cheatin' Heart, Love Sick Blues, and Cold Cold Heart. Am I talking about Hank Williams, Jimmy Rogers, or Tex Ritter? Williams, Rogers, or Ritter? Uh, Hank Williams. Right. <laughs> Hank Williams is the one. You gotta have 21 to win. Elaine, give them their first card. What do you have for him? First one of five. Mythology tells us that an ancient king named Midas had the power to turn everything he touched into what? Stole, gold, or ashes? Gold. Yes. The Midas touch. Next card, Elaine. Still trying to beat 20, you need a six. True or false? The song It Takes Two to Tango is the theme song from the film Last Tango in Paris. False. <laughs> That's right, you're right. That's false. <laughs> you need a six to win. Too much. Game goes to the Livingston, and it's all even Steven at a game of two. <laughs> so you got $100, Livingston. So Wayne, let's see the first card in the determining factor, which is the final game of the match. For a ten of spades, 
The songs You're a Grand Old Flag and Over There were written by a man who was played in a famous movie by Jimmy Cagney. Livingston? Answer. George M. Cohan. Right. George M. Cohan was the man who played. I'll take it. <laughs> These names, Toscanini, Meta, Bernstein, are they famous as sci uh, physicists, conductors, or attorneys? Livingston. Conductors. Famous conductors, right. You got a 10. You want to take the next card? We'll take it. Here you go. 10 plus 10. <laughs> you want to stop? Uh, I think so, yeah. Ferraro's the tables have suddenly turned. You got to beat that 20. You use peroxide on your hair. Are you bleaching it or darkening it? Bleaching it. Right. Bleaching your hair. First card, Elaine. Gary Cooper portrayed this army general who was court-martialed for defying his superiors. He was a strong advocate of air power. Was he Eddie Rickenbacker, Billy Mitchell, or Jimmy Doolittle? Gary Cooper portrayed him. Rickenbacker. No, Billy Mitchell. Mitchell. And the match goes to the Livingstons with a 20. Congratulations, Phil and Karen. Karen with a K, K-A-R-O-N, spells it a little differently. No matter how you spell it, you won the match. You go to the Gambit board next, and congratulations, you have $200. You and to the much. Ferraros, well, needless to say, you did very well. This has been a good day's work for you, hadn't it? Right. Yes, thank, thank you, you very so much. $1,800 in cash and cash and prizes, a grand total of $3,135. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a break, and then we'll go to the Gambit board. Come back in a minute. Our source on Gambit for a lot of the questions we ask is the 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia, including the research, the World Book Encyclopedia, <laughs> including the research guide and the index volume. New players on Gambit received some nice gifts, believe it or not. Kenny, what are those gifts this week? First, Miramatic electric housewares, including bacon syrup casserole, electric broiler, and cup of minute percolator. Fresh brewed coffee faster than instant from Miro and... Here's a complete beautiful eye makeup wardrobe from Maybelline. Beautiful eyes are yours with Maybelline. We'll be back with more of Gambit after this message. Our policeman's ready to go, huh? I sure am. You're not going to give me a ticket if you lose. <laughs> no. Promise. <laughs> Um, okay, then we'll do it. Come on. Hard on. on the Gambit board, 21 in any combination wins this. Our jackpot now is $500 plus the car. The Opel Manta, the best-selling car in Germany. The economical four-cylinder engine and excellent craftsmanship of Opel make it right for America now. Elaine breaks the seal on a new deck of cards. And Phil, while you're cutting them, Karen, I'll tell you that among the prizes, we have our grocery special up here today. We have our Gambit Galaxy up here behind one of these cards. That's worth over $3,000. And we have three summer fun vacations up here behind these cards somewhere. Karen, pick the first one. Not number one necessarily, but... Ten for our ten-week-old son. Okay, number ten. You got a pair of portables, and Kenny will tell you what they are. For your television viewing pleasure, a pair of portable color television sets. For those times when you can't agree on what to watch, now you can each have your own color TV. Elaine, what's the first card for Karen and Phil Livingston? King of hearts. You're pretty good at getting those hearts. Phil? Four. Number four, his and her watches. <laughs> from Lucien Picard, his and her watches with a dependable precision, a quality gift of time from a most distinguished watchmaker, Lucien Picard. For a nice pair, everything's coming in pairs for you. Now let's see if we can find an ace of hearts to go with that king. That would be nice. Twelve. You want to stop? They can't keep watching to go for something else. What do we do? Keep on going or do we stop? Let's go one more time. Go one more time. One more once. All righty. Karen, back to you. Uh, number 12. She picks number 12, and we see a stereo. It's from Julia, a beautiful home entertainment system consisting of AM, FM, stereo radio with 8-track player and built-in B&R changer, complete with stand and headphones from Juliet. His and her watches, beautiful stereo, a pair of portables, and a jackpot worth $500 in a car, all if you uh, should happen to get a 9 next. Anything but a 10, Elaine. Give them anything but a 10. Said, give them it. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way they came up, so we forget the gambit board, but we do not forget the fact that you have $200 in cash. You're our new champions with the right to continue. And, audience, I think they make a nice pair, don't you? Give them champions, right? Who's going to take them off? Now we welcome Nancy and Jim Brown to Gambit. Hi, how are you, Jim? 
Nancy and Jim have traveled all the way from Pensacola, Florida, right? Right. Jim, tell us about yourself. What, obviously, you're in the Navy. Yes, I'm pilot in the Navy. Pilot in the Navy. Nancy, what do you do? Do you housewife. Housewife. Any children? Uh, no, we don't have any children. Welcome to our show, all the way from Thank Pensacola. You. Do you come out here to visit relatives or friends? Or to, be to be on, be on Gambit. <laughs> to be on Gambit. Well, I hope we make it world. I hope you make it well worth it. Well, <laughs> okay, good luck. Elaine, break the seal, please, and uh, we'll ask our pilot to cut the cards for us. And remember, 21 exactly hits our Gambit jackpot, which today is worth $500 in cash. Elaine, show us the first card, please. And away we go. For a six, according to this term, if something is said to be at its zenith, does this mean... Livingston. At its peak? That's right, yes. At its highest point. Or at its peak. What are we going to do? Give it away or take it? We'll take it. Take it. You got it. Veteran actor Tom Bosley plays Ronnie Howard's father in this television situation round. Happy days. That's right. In the famous story, William Tell shoots an apple from his son's head. Now, was William Tell English, Swiss, or French? Livingston? English. No, Swiss, and the Browns control the card. Hey, take it. Take it, you're in. Four. Plus what, Elaine? Fourteen. You want to stop or keep going? Okay, now this is true or false. Answer is simply true or false. According to the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah were two lovers who were kept apart because of a feud between their families. Livingston? <laughs> Answer. True. No, false. <laughs> they were two cities destroyed because of their wickedness and the Browns <laughs> control it. You will take the turn. You take it. You want to stay? Livingston, they stopped at 17 this time. Karen, are you laughing at yourself? <laughs> Here's your question. You're trying to beat 17. Uncle Sam is the imaginary man who signifies the United States. What country is signified by John Bull? Russia, England, or Spain? England. Right. <laughs> Here's your next card, Elaine. For the Livingston. They're trying to beat 17. Emiliano Zapata was a Mexican revolutionary. Who played the role in the movie Viva Zapata? Was it Marlon Brando, Anthony Quinn, or Charlton Heston? My wife says Marlon Brando. That's right. She's correct. <laughs> okay, let's see if you're going to do it. Nope. You're going to the Browns. You're going to the Browns. Got $100 for that. We'll be back to continue this match right after this. <laughs> Some prizes on our Gambit board come from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value selection and savings. Spiegel Chicago 60609. Married couples who plan to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to be considered as contestants on Gambit send a stamp self-addressed envelope to Gambit, CBS Television City, 7800 Beverly Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90036. We'll be back with more of Gambit right after this. Back with Gambit, first card in game two. Elaine, what do we have? We're shooting for a nine of clubs, and you're eating guacamole. What's the main ingredient? Arm Livingston. Uh, avocado. That's right, avocado. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? We'll take it. Okay. Question. Which of these TV detectives is played by Richard Roundtree? Schaff, Toma, or Tennyson? Brown? Schaff. Right. <laughs> you want it? Take it. Give it to him, Elaine. Which of the following is not a fish? Piranha, Barracuda, or Brazil? The third one. Right, Brazil. <laughs> we'll take it. Take it, here it is. 19, you want to stop? Three. Keep going. Rounds they froze you 19. You need a 10 to win. A friend of yours is telling you about a train trip in which he got to ride in the caboose. Is the caboose the train's engine car or last car? Last car. Correct. <laughs> if it's a 10, you've got a match win, Elaine. Do you have a 10 for him? No. Oh. Marlon Brando starred in the 1957 film Sayonara as an American officer in love with a Japanese girl. Now, in Japanese, does the word Sayonara mean I love you, goodbye, or tablecloth? Goodbye. <laughs> Pardon? Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, that one up. I'm never going to run across that one again. You know, I've been breaking up at some of these questions. The guys have been working overtime every day. Yeah. 
Well, you know what you got to do, Browns. You got to beat that 19. You got an 18. A 3 would give you 21. Think in those terms. Elaine? Too much. And the game goes to the Livingstons, and it's all evened up. So Elaine clears the boards and shows us the first card in game number three, the rubber game of the match for a seven of diamonds. True or false? The current film, Conrack, which stars John Voight as a young southern schoolteacher, is based on a true story. Is that true or false? Brown? True. That's right, it is based on a true story. Seven. We'll take it. You got it. If an animal is amphibious, does it live only on... Livingston? Both. Either land or sea. That's right. Both on land and sea. Take it or give it away. We'll take it. Here it comes. Elaine Livingston's get a what? Ten of spades. that card. Our uh, naval officer is going to go to bed tonight thinking about that last question, I know. If someone mentions the word cummerbund to you, is he discussing Danish pastry, an article of clo Browns? An article of clothing. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll take it. Take the card. Here it comes. 17. Freeze or play on. That's a freeze. Okay, you know what you got to do, Livingston's, in order to take the match, you got to beat 17. He wipes the perspiration from his brow. <laughs> Someone is introduced to you as being a philatelist. Is he a doctor, a religious leader, or a stamp collector? A philatelist. See stamp it? collector? Yes, that's right, a stamp collector. I was going to spell it for you. <laughs> Elaine, give him the next card if it's at least an eight. <laughs> Well, I'll say this, that's one way to come from behind. That's a nice way to come from behind. You won $500 in our 21 jackpot. You got $200 for the match. So quickly, in about three or four minutes' time, you have another $700. And we'll go to the Gambit board in just a second. Jim and Nancy Brown from Pensacola, I hope you feel like the trip was worth it. You oh, got $100. You didn't pay for the trip for that $100. <laughs> However, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for being with us. And nice having you with us on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go to the game of the board with the Livingstons again. <laughs> Elaine has a brand new deck of cards, so Elaine, break them open, please, and Phil, cut the cards. Karen, remember, I'll remind you and your husband, if you hit 21 this time, you'll hit our jackpot worth $500, plus, most importantly, you'll get a new car. That's for a 21 at the Gambit board. Karen, call out the first card. 10 again. Number 10. She started there a while ago. And that's worth $500. That's one of the four suit cards. That club with 500 on it means you win $500 plus an additional $500 for every club you draw as long as you don't go over 21. Let's see if we can come up with the club. First card. Elaine? Oh. Ace of spades, though. You won't give that away, will you? You'll accept that, won't you? Oh, okay. Now over to you, Phil. Pick one. Number two. Number two. Dude, camping equipment. <laughs> Listen. It's a camping outfit, including a tent big enough to sleep aid, a deluxe lantern, convertible cooler, heater, and two-burner stove, plus a king-size sleeping bag. $500 on the board, camping equipment, $500 in the jackpot, and a new car in the CBS garage for a 10. If it happens to be the next car, it's all yours. Elaine, show it to us. Oh. You want to keep going? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think we will. Okay. Karen? 12. Number 12. I'm on the I'm on the two cards. So that trade is worth $500, and you have one up there, so that's $1,000. So you have $1,500 cash and the camping equipment. Now you have an ace, so you can't go over, so you're assured that. Elaine, what's the next card? <laughs> that has never happened on this show before. And if another one comes up, we're all going to fall out, I'll tell you. Okay, you want to keep going? Uh, Why yeah. not? Okay, Phil? one's got one's got to be an omen. We'll take one. Number one, summer fun. <laughs> First of all, listen, you have won a wardrobe, luggage, a movie camera and projector, and other travel accessories worth one thousand dollars. You can take all of that with you, and let's see where you're going. You're going to take some summer fun to New York City. <laughs> you're going to New York City to. 
Marriott Essex House, New York's superb setting for pleasant living and gracious well, entertainment with magnificent view and quiet, convenient location. Marriott Essex House in New York. Now let's take a look at the next car. Let's hope it's a club or a spade. Elaine, what do you have? <laughs> okay, back to you, Karen. Pick another one. 18. 18, right here. And let's give that one a little help. A <laughs> So you get all of those goodies, or the cash equivalent, I guess, and another trip, this time to... Oh! We fly you for a Mexican fiesta at Posada Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. 250 air-conditioned rooms with exclusive beaches and private villas, continental dining with native entertainment, and the fine service at the Posada Vallarta. You two may put us out of business, Elaine. <laughs> What's the next card? <laughs> One better than ten thousand dollars. We'll see all of you tomorrow. Goodbye. Party couple today receive a Shackley treasure chest of beauty and grooming age, including the classic Lady Shackley bath products and UV fragrances, and new Olympic overcoat, the first acrylic latex product made especially for redo over old vein. Olympic overcoat, it covers like crazy. Plus. Nestle's decaf, 100% pure coffee. Dark and rich, tasty decaf from Nestle's is caffeine-free. Also, big 45-ounce cans of Wilder's drink mixes make 15 delicious pours. Your choice of flavors. Wilder's soft drinks at soft prices. Stay tuned for now you see it over most of these CBS stations.